Hi, this is an extra tutorial on how to set up your Illustrator files for the animation of the global goals that you're going to make. You have to follow a couple of rules that we have made up. And the first one is to make the intro animation exactly the same way as ours. So the way this number is revealed and the way the title is revealed, that should be entirely the same. But you can make up your own idea for uh, the reveal of your icon. We used a mask to reveal the waves, but of course you can um, just change uh, the position or the scale of your icon, depending on uh, what you need. So that's the first thing that should be entirely the same. Everything you do after the title you can decide for yourself, but at the end you have this global goals roulette wheel that uh, turns around and then zooms in and ends in the white. Um, that thing should be the same as well, because then every animation that we make uh, starts and ends in the same way, and that's, uh, that's beautiful, of course. But going back to setting up your document, well, there's two uh, websites that you can use. The globalgoals.org, or well, without the de, so you can go to globalgoals.org for the English versions, and sdgnederland.nl for the Dutch versions. And um, if you open up the 17 Doelen, then you'll find all the Dutch texts that belong to each goal. And that's the first thing where you need to start to make your uh, voiceover text. So if we go to goal number one, you will find in the red part over here a complete text that can already be um, the base of your voiceover. So what you need to do is make a summary and samafatting of this, this text. So you um, will pick out the most important parts, the most important data, the most important parts of this text, and then summarize that into uh, something that lasts no longer than one minute and preferably uh, something around 40 seconds, because then you can uh, easily handle all the animation work you need to do. So if you have that, like we did for our text there, so you can see that it's, uh, it's very short. And then for each sentence that you have, you make, um, well, a little drawing. You make, you make a storyboard, and you uh, divide the complete text in several shots. So each sentence is one shot. And um, each uh, sentence, each shot, is also one illustrator drawing. So this is an illustrator drawing, this is an illustrator drawing, and so on. And every illustrator drawing has the um, objects that you need to animate. The handy thing here is that the English site has um, already predefined packages for each goal. So if we were going to globalgoals.org and we click on the 17 goals and we scroll down to our own package, number 14, um, and then if you scroll down a bit again, then you can see an icon pack. So you can download the zip there and uh, save it into your project folder. In your Illustrator folder. There. And uh, if you open it up, well, in w on Windows, you have to right click and say extract. Or in Dutch, alles uitpakken. And uh, on a Mac, you can just double click and it will extract itself into a new folder. And then you will find uh, two folders again. And the first is the primary icon. And the primary icon is uh, the title screen. Well, it has everything for the title screen. What you need to use is the EPS version. So if you have the EPS, then you can open it up. Well, the colored version, of course. 
You can open this up in Illustrator. <laughs> this is not Illustrator. Okay, if it doesn't open up in Illustrator, you need to right click and then say open with uh, Illustrator. And it will open up the EPS. And there you have it. And what you see then is that everything is on one layer. But the thing is that you need to have every everything on separate layers um, in order to be able to animate them. So the number 14 should be on a separate layer. This text live below should be on a separate layer. Water should be on a separate layer as well because that moves after um, live below. And then, of course, uh, for the reveal of our uh, waves, we need to have the waves on a separate layer as well, and the fish uh, also. And this is um, the same for every uh, Illustrator file and for every shot that you have. So if we, um, well, the thing is, um, in our animation, we made a lot of the graphics ourselves. But you can just make uh, use of um, the icons that you find in the other folder, the targets folder. Because if you look into that, you go into targets, then you will find a couple of files. And you also have a little text below it. So this one says reduce marine pollution. Um, and you can make make smart use of that because these texts are in fact already a summary of what uh, the goal is about. Okay, next thing is to uh, prepare these files, well, to, to make every uh, shot that you have to turn that into an Illustrator file. And the Illustrator file, every Illustrator file should have the same size as your animation. Well, at this moment, that is not the case, because this is clearly a square. So we need to make a new file, file, new, to make a new document, and then use uh, print. And if this changes over here, you need to change point into pixels, and give it a width of 1920 pixels width, and a height of 1080 pixels because that's the resolution of an HD movie file, an HD animation file that you need to make. Under advanced options, choose color mode RGB. It will uh, give a danger sign over here, but that's, uh, that's no problem at all. Well, once you have set this up with these settings, click on create and see, you will have this widescreen version of your canvas. Um, the next thing you need to do is um, well, every time you open up one of the uh, global goals files, so I can open up one of these as well, open with Illustrator, there you have it. But the only thing, this is of course, this is in English, but you're not going to use this, you're go only going to use the uh, drawings that you have here. And every time... Um, for every shot, you make a new Illustrator drawing, a new file with the 1920 by 1080 um, size. And you're go just going to copy over every element to your new Illustrator file. Because these things need to be on separate layers in order to be able to animate them. So the first thing you need to have is the blue background. So you select it, you press Ctrl C on Windows or Command C on your Mac. And then you go back to your own file and you press Command Shift V or Command or Control Shift V on Windows. And you will see that it's smaller than uh, you have it, but that's no problem at all. You can just resize it up to the size of your own file there and of course we need to work in layers so you need to go to your layer panel and make a new layer and rename them so you will be able to recognize them if you don't see your layers panel just go to window and open layers and then it will show up on your screen and if you click 
twice on the name of the layer, you can give it a different name. So this should be background. And then you can, by using this button over here, you can create a new layer there. And we can name it fish one. And then we go over to our target. And you can already see that um, this is um, this is all grouped together. So first, we can uh, make a copy of this and then paste it using Command Shift V into our own uh, file, and then scale it up again. This is about the right size. And then we just need to decide whatever we want to use in our own animation and how to let it let things move. Um, so the first thing you need to do is degroup this because it's all in one group now. Right click, ungroup. Then you will see that you have separate fishes, a turtle and these nice uh, corals. Um, so I've made a new layer, fish one. And I can copy this fish, or well, cut it out of the current layer there. Then make a new layer, because now everything, um, <laughs> this whole group now is on fish one, because I activated this, I selected this layer be before I pasted uh, everything on it. So I make a new layer, call it fish number two. And then using command shift V, I paste it so it um, will be pasted in exactly the, the same space. If I use just command V, you will see where it ends up right in the middle and you don't want to, you don't want to drag them around again. So the best thing to do is command shift V or command F. Command F will work as well. Control F on Windows. So for these plants, make a new layer, plants, command X, and then on the plants layer, command F, and it will be pasted in place. There, a nice star, command X. And command F and then you can see that these things are on separate layers now. So that's how you build up your uh, Illustrator file. Every thing that needs to move needs to be on a separate layer. And then after this, when you're done, you can import this entire file into After Effects and it will create a composition uh, that you can use to make your animation with. And if you're smart and you are, then you're going to name uh, your Illustrator file after the shot that it, that it is. So this should be uh, shot 2 because this comes after the intro and then you can save it and then if you have a new file so a new file for a new shot there then you can open one of the new one of the other targets as well maybe this one open with illustrator this all depends on what you want to tell in your uh, animation and then we can uh, uh, copy these elements over again. So the ship, the waves and the background. Command C, Command Shift V, copy it over. And then resize it there. So it will fit your own composition there. See, this shouldn't take up too much time. So now everything is on one layer again. So we're going to make a new layer again. 
called ship shop ship and then you can copy the ship cut it out of this layer then paste it command F into the new layer then we need a layer for the waves select them command X select the waves layer command F paste them into place again and then the background layer is left so we can rename that to background and then for this ship this is already done there you go so that was shot number three or whatever it is in your animation so that's how you do it good luck and if you have any questions we will be right there to help you